Dexter takes a huge leap forward in his relationship with Lumen in 508. What's cool though is that you see Dexter now, who's essentially behaving almost like a jealous boyfriend. Owen who? My ex-fiance. He's Dexter, so he doesn't quite get what's going on, but you see in him this weird sort of slightly aggressive possessiveness. Stay the night? That's one of the first signposts that their relationship is really changing. If I stay, does that mean you're not going to kill Cole tonight? Well, that's still happening. We're very aware in 508 that he has an apprentice and that he's teaching her to do certain things. For us, it was really a kind of bonding thing, something they could share. What do you get out of all of this? I like knowing that the man who did this to you won't do it to anyone else. The idea that he would do this kind of odd confessional came up fairly late in the script, and it just felt really good that that would be a way to show just how far they've come. She's kind of us in there in the kill room with him. You've been doing this a long time. Jordan chases this uh, Hannibal Lecter as motivational speaker kind of character. Come and join me on stage, Dexter. That was the big hurdle in this episode. Can we make this real or is this going to be an embarrassment that blows up in our faces? And we started to get a good feeling about it as we started to see the swag and all the products. Manny Cotto and Wendy West did that script that took this slightly boneheaded log line we had, which was take it, and kind of deepened it by saying, it's not just grab whatever you want, it's also when opportunities present themselves, take it. It started to get kind of layered and started to really live and breathe. The other thing was, is a production issue. We were lucky to have Romeo Tyrone direct this episode. So he has a background in rock shows and lighting them and everything. And he kind of brought that sensibility to this thing. So that, again, this thing that might've seemed a little weird uh, or a little not quite believable ended up being kind of full-blown and glorious. We shall be delivered. <laughs>